First, the church leaders accused of acting like God and breaking up families. Damien Chimes broke away from the controversial Christian fellowship, a secretive cult he claims ruins people's lives. They're very controlling, very manipulative. They use fear and humiliation to control people. And then the Lord spoke to us. It's just all a big fraud, really. Is this church dangerous? Definitely. The dictionary defines religion as belief in a controlling superhuman power entitled to obedience, reverence and worship. That was definitely Damien Chimes' experience, except the controlling power at his church was more subhuman than superhuman. They're very controlling, very manipulative. Um, they, they use fear and humiliation to control people basically the timetable I ran my life by and uh, he went through it and he told me that I wasn't allowed to have any gaps bigger than 15 minutes and that I needed to find time in my timetable to give at least half a day to the church. Damien was a member of the Christian Fellowship in the Queensland city of Toowoomba, one of a network operating on the outskirts of Australia's major cities. Uh, the leaders are probably the evil mastermind you'd call them and the people are the blind sheep. Born into the church, the 19-year-old made a catastrophic decision, one that would fracture the foundations of his life. He questioned the fellowship elders to whom his father had pledged the family's obedience. If I lived under his house, I had to follow his rules, and that uh, his rules were I had to be completely committed to the church and go to all of their events. And uh, at that point, um, I, I said to him, well, I can't follow those rules. And he said, well, you're not following my rules, you can't live under my house. He was given the choice between you and the church. He chose the church. And there's no doubt in my mind he'd do it again. From that moment, Damien was on his own. Excommunicated by church and family, he was homeless. Rock bottom came when his only bed was a Toowoomba bus shelter. The, the nights where I slept in Queen's Park, um, if, if I had of, had access to a way to to commit suicide, I'm fairly certain I would have. Damien has decided to come forward after seeing a Chris Masters investigation into the Christian Fellowship on the ABC's Four Corners program. Do you think it's a deliberate strategy, the driving of the wedge? Intentional. Deliberate and intentional to control people. They tried to separate husband from wife. They would set a husband against a wife, a wife against a husband. They would try to put a wedge between children. The recurring theme is families driven apart on the orders of church elders. Helen Pomery's younger daughter was excommunicated from the Brisbane Christian Fellowship. I think people that are excommunicated as a result of religious beliefs can feel really isolated and really ostracised and very, very lonely and quite vulnerable. Psychologist Van der Brink. If family members don't consign to the beliefs of those holding the strong religious views, then they in turn get ostracised. It's an organisation where the leaders hold supreme power over the congregation and even lay claim to divine power to match Christ himself. They have said that the face of Christ to man, to us, is the elders. So they have actually put themselves into that order. Like a, I remember being uh, told off um, when I was about 16 because I was reading the Bible and I wasn't reading all the books that the ministers were writing. But they believed their, their writings were above God's word. Um, th that was never directly said, but um, that was the impression I was given when I had that conversation with the leader, yes. Many of the former members in the ABC documentary left the church many years ago. One of the last to escape, Damien Chime says it's become worse in recent years. The, the main leader in uh, Toowoomba has quite a large house and quite a large block of land, um, which um, the gardening and uh, also some cattle that were run on it were all volunteered uh, and volunteers looked after the gardens and all the cattle. The leaders, he says, used teenage members of the congregation to work at their properties and businesses without pay. It, it was referred to as um, volunteering in the cafe. And was the cafe a money-making venture? Yes. You were volunteering for someone else to make money? Yes. Damien escaped. His mother, father and sisters possibly never will. Do you miss them? No, oh, very, very deeply, As, especially my sisters. Uh, I'm, my heart burns for them, the fact that they're still in there. 
And Damien hopes his story will encourage other former members of the Christian Fellowship to come forward. We'd like to hear from you. Send us an email or give us a call.